Hey John, well since you wouldn't let me show you a car while you were here, I thought I'd go ahead and take a video and send it to you. It's a 2025 CRV Sport L. We still have one 2024 CRV Sport L left. It's also black. So if black's a no-go, then that's a no-go. But good thing about 2024 is you get two years of oil changes for free, paid by Honda instead of one on the 2025s, and you get a 1% lower interest rate than the 2025s. But the Sport L gives you, it's the middle trim level of the hybrids, but it's essentially like the highest trim level of the non-hybrids in terms of features it has. You get these parking sensors in the front and in the rear. Those will beep if you're getting close to something. It'll slam on the brakes if you're about to hit something. You get these 18 inch powder coated wheels that are black, which is kind of nice. They hide the dirt fairly well. Not when the sun is directly low in the sky like it is right now. It kind of shows it better, but in the majority of the day, it does a good job of hiding dirt and stuff. Integrated turn signals here in the mirrors. You also have blind spot protection, so this will light up if someone's in your blind spot. Keyless access, meaning you just put your hand on the handle of the door whenever your key's in your pocket. You'll hear it beep and unlock. Then you can touch right there to lock it. The key also has buttons to lock and unlock and remote start the car. You do that by pressing lock and holding this button. You'll see the light flash on it once and that means that it's starting up. And then it comes with a powered lift gate. You can open pressing this button. See the lift gate come up. You can adjust the height on this. So if you have shorter people in your life, they can it can open lower for them. <clears throat> the CRV also comes with, oops, hold on, let's close this. So you can close it from right here. So the CRV also comes with a capless gas tank. When the car's locked, this is locked. So if you press unlock, this will open up. You just stick the nozzle in here, fill it up, and then close it and you're good to go. Coming around to the inside of the car, the Sport L gives you automatic up and down windows for all four windows. So you just touch once and they'll go all the way down. Although the car's not fully on yet, so it won't do that. Memory positions one and two, which corresponds to the powered seat here for the driver. So you'll save position one, the seat, whenever you use key one, will move to position one that you have saved. And then power control of your side view mirrors. You come in, put your foot on the brake, press the start button, see the dash come to life. This is a fully digital dash. This right side isn't digital. This is a physical dial with a physical needle. Then this side here is digital. You can adjust different information that displays there with this home button and this wheel. I personally like range and fuel because that tells you how many miles you have till empty. You can also see your, your oil life, for example, under maintenance. So this all is going to have 100% obviously. Media controls, your track and your volume is here. And then adaptive cruise control stuff is here. The Sport L comes with uh, heated seats for both the front seats, the driver and the passenger, automatic climate control, and dual climate control as well. So you and your passenger can select different temperatures. You get wireless charging for your phone, wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, which appear up here on this 12 inch screen. Um, and then a few different USB ports, USB-A, USB-C, and your old style cigarette lighter there. 12 volt. A few different drive modes. You also have paddle shifters on this. This will adjust the regenerative braking on the car instead of actually like simulating gears like in an internally combusted engine. But you have drive modes as well. You have sport, normal, economy, and snow. If it's ever snowy, it feels like that'll never happen again. Your hill descent mode button. If you turn this on, it'll keep you going at constant speed down steep hills. The electronic parking brake there is there and then brake hold this will keep you stopped when you come to a stop and you're in drive and you have this on it'll keep the brakes held until you touch on the accelerator again so up here is where your backup camera shows up this is also where uh, android auto or apple carplay would show up once you have your phone connected <clears throat> and then on the majority of these you're going to have black leather with red stitching for the seats black leather covered uh, center console and leather wrap steering wheel. There's the center console, fairly deep. And then the back seat here for you. 
As shown, those seats lay flat, almost flat. There's a little bit of a hump right there. And you can lay down either this side or the two on this side, or both, give you the most storage space. Sport L also has an automatic dimming mirror and then a sunroof here. Then from the back, you've got a couple more USB-C charging ports here for your back passengers. This seat belt here detaches and stows up here whenever you want to lay these seats down. You just attach it using the buckle, but you need two hands, so it's hard to demo. And then these seats recline to a variety of different levels. You can lean them all the way back or like this, and they lay flat. So yeah, I hope this is a helpful for you. Um, my information will be down below if you ever want to call and chat. That's how you do it. I'll talk to you later.